So I'm doing the uh, intro actually at the end of the car boot. Um, I don't think there's as much footage as I would have liked, uh, simply because I was using camcorder, which was a few, it's got to be what, six inches deep, um, and I just couldn't get the angle, it was pointing down the whole time, um, pointing a lot further down than uh, what I was expecting, so I ended up basically just holding the camcorder and then just walking around with it in my hands, which made life a little bit difficult, um, especially the more and more that I picked up. My, my bag is honestly, it is so heavy, it is hurting my shoulder when uh, I've got it resting on there. So, there's quite a few bits. Um, unfortunately, I didn't get most of it um, walking around with the camcorder in my hands, but I did get some of it. So, fingers crossed it is enough. I haven't actually seen the footage yet. So, fingers crossed I have enough time to go through it all later on today. Um, but there will, as always, be a haul roundup video. Um, well, it will be at the end of this video. There'll be a timestamp in the description uh, as normal so you guys can uh, see what's going on. How much for those three? Nine. Nine? Three Not doing me a deal, no? I'll just have that one then. How much are your PS2 games? Uh, pound. Would you do a price for the whole lot? The PS2 games, would you do a price for the whole lot? Could be. Oh, it's not here yet. Do you have any questions? No, I don't know. Yeah, sorry, I've got enough of it. Quite beautiful. Thanks. So it's uh, time for the the whole part of the video. 
Um, I've not gone through the, the footage as to what I actually did get on the camcorder. Um, so that's going to be fun. I uh, have to sit down and, and go through that and see exactly what's going on. But my first pickup was this Nintendo DS game. It is Sonic the Classic Collection. Um, three pound I think I paid for this. Um, I actually thought I had the, the camera rolling, um, but I didn't. But she wanted three pound for like every single game that she had. Um, most of them weren't even half decent games to be honest. Um, I was going to try and take three of them for a half decent price but she wanted £9 so I ended up walking away with just this one. Um, it is the best of Sonic. So we've got Sonic the Hedgehog 2, 3 and Sonic and Knuckles. So quite happy with that. £3 down. Um, next is a lot that I got for £10. It was just basically everything that was in this in this case. Um, and we got a Nintendo DS game, uh, Brain Training. Um, God, I don't, it's probably only worth like 10 pence, that one. Uh, then we've got some PS1 games that are actually in PS3 holders. I think I have this one. So I'm gonna check to see whether um, I need to replace my book on my disc. So that's not too bad. Uh, LMA Manager. Uh, we've got some more PS1 games. We've got Euro 2000. A bit beaten up on the uh, case. ISS2. Another football game. And we've got Premier Manager 99. Uh, endorsed by Kevin Keegan. Lovely. Uh, we've got a PS3 game. Need for Speed Carbon. Um, I believe. CX will actually take about fiver for that. So PS3 is a bit new for me and I haven't got a PS3 so I might get rid of it. I don't quite know yet. Uh, we've got Football Manager 2006. Um, again, not quite sure what to do with that one yet. We've got Championship Manager uh, Season 0102. Football Manager 2007. FIFA. FIFA, I put a TH in FIFA. It's FIFA 2001. Uh, Peter Jackson's King Kong. Um, with another disc. The official game of the movie. Nope. Maybe that one's knockoff because that looks a bit funny. The print seems off on that. But even so, um, my PS2 collection is, is getting quite big, man. Uh, Pro Evo 6, 50 cent bulletproof. SSX, I'm fairly certain I have this one. So again, I will go through and check, replace the bits that I want, and I'll get rid of the, the extra. Uh, Bouncer, uh, apparently this is really good. Um, so might give that a go at some point. Uh, we've got Gary Lineker's Football Challenge as advertised on TV. Um, HMV, back in the day, this was £16.99. We've got FIFA 10 on the PS3, FIFA 15 on the PS4, uh, FA Premier League Manager 2002, uh, QPR promotion for the 0304 season, Devil May Cry, Devil May Cry? Devil May Cry on the PS2. Pre Evo 4 on the PS2, UEFA, uh, Euro 2004, and Time Splitters. So the whole of that lot was £10. So I don't know what I'm going to do yet. Most of them I'm definitely going to be keeping. Um, maybe replacing ones from my collection uh, for ones that are in slightly better nick because they actually look okay. Um, then the, the big bundle that was £18 I think we got the whole bag for but I split it with someone else so we paid £9 each we basically went through um, and just split up the games um, and these are my ones got Guitar Hero World Tour Empire of Atlantis Jumanji I wanted this because there's a new Jumanji film coming out at the end of the year I believe uh, with The Rock and oh what's his name 
Kevin Hart, Ed, Ed and Eddie, The Jungle Book, Groove Party, Fair Fighters, Vigo's Revenge, another King Kong, so I've got a double straight away, uh, Ratatouille, Chicken Little, Finding Nemo, Manhunt 2, I think this game actually might be worth a, a couple of quid, so quite happy with that. Metal Gear Solid 2, Sons of Liberty, Final Fantasy X, Mr. Bean, Disney's Dinosaur, FIFA Street 2, Guitar Hero Aerosmith, The Getaway, Mummy Returns, Knight Rider, The Mummy Returns, I picked up two of those apparently. Oops. Uh, the Herbs, Sims in the City. Don't know about that one. Uh, Dog's Life. Little Britain, the video game. I can imagine that being quite terrible, to be honest. Uh, Leisure Suit Larry. Or is it Le yeah. Leisure Suit? Leisure Suit Larry. Uh, that looks like a very strange game. And iToy Play Sports. So, all of that, nine quid, which I'm quite happy about. So again, I'll go through, it's probably take out, I would say 99% of them for my own personal collection, ready for when I move house and I've got a proper man cave. I can then get everything into alphabetical order and it will be happy days. So, nine pound. Then these ones were 50 pence each. Um, I was just looking, basically uh, Revenge of the Sith uh, because it's a Star Wars game um, and I, I thought they were going to say maybe a pound, pound fifty each but it said no, fifty pence each so as I do normally I bought all of them um, so we've got NBA Live 2004 Star Wars Episode 3 Revenge of the Sith uh, FIFA Football 2004 and Commandos 2 Men of Courage and our very, very last purchase which I'm amazed because at this stage it's probably like nine o'clock in the morning here's a hint and <laughs> um, Sega Mega Drive uh, it is the the second generation um, he initially wanted 25 pound for the lot I managed to get it for 15. Um, so all the cables are there. Um, it looks in very good condition. It looks like it is going to work. Now one of the other guys um, that was there today, he actually picked up a Halo Xbox um, mint condition off the same guy as well um, and paid £40 for it. Uh, I think he probably could have knocked him down a little bit, but to pick up that in, it was literally mint condition. Um, and it's from the same guy, so I am I'm fairly hopeful that this will all work. It looks to be okay. Um, there's something knocking around inside, but that's normal to be honest. I mean, these consoles are so old. Wouldn't surprise me if something's fallen through into the uh, the cartridge slot. Um, but a Sega Mega Drive 2, along with Senna's Super Monaco Grand Prix 2 and Jurassic Park Rampage Edition. Um, and to which the cables are so hard to come by nowadays um, it was almost worth it just for that and to have a, a nice decent controller um, yeah cracking hopefully the the footage wasn't too bad I'm gonna see if I can maybe adjust the mount slightly because what happens is the the mount is, is flat to my chest and the camera is normally pointing downwards um, let's see if I've got it on me. I don't. It's on the computer at the moment. I'm actually downloading the footage as we speak. So the, the camera is sort of pointing that way. And I can only lift it up so much. So it's still looking fairly down. So what I need is this mount here. I need to push it away from my chest slightly so it's more like that. I'm, I'm hoping to find some sort of foam that I can use and then maybe cable tie it to the, uh, to the chest piece. Um, Failing that, I'll just have to walk around a bit in my hands. I mean, it's a massive 
pain, but until I save up and get like a GoPro, um, it's the only choice I've got really. But I'm now gonna have to um, sift through all the footage uh, and uh, try and slim it down as much as possible. So uh, I'll see you guys on Wednesday for what would be my tomorrow's car boot. So I'll catch you guys then.